So the whole story is that our students were doing very poorly in mathematics in the 60s and 70s. It's not peculiar to Singapore, all around Southeast Asia. And there is a reason why our students were doing so poorly. We make our students do a lot of tedious calculation. So in Southeast Asia, we pretended that mathematics is doing computation. So we make our students multiply four-digit numbers by three-digit numbers. For whatever reason, we did that. And no wonder our students were doing so poorly. The second thing that we did wrong was to make students learn procedures. We went about telling them, if you want to divide half by three quarters, you change the divide to multiply. And then you go about inverting the second fraction. That's the procedure. That was the second thing that we did wrong. We taught mathematics in a rote procedural fashion. And years later, in the late 70s, Richard Scamp, a British mathematics educator, told us that that's wrong. You have to teach procedural understanding hand in hand with conceptual understanding. Richard Scamp used the word instrumental understanding and relational understanding. And that theory has a significant influence uh, to what we, we do in Singapore today. So today in Singapore, in the syllabus document, there is a statement that says, if we cannot teach the relational aspect, then do not bother them with the procedures. The phrase used in our document is, it is to be avoided. In other words, don't ever do that. If we cannot make students understand why the divide become multiplied and the other fraction became inverted, then don't even bother them with it. It's kind of pointless to teach students in a rote procedural fashion. But that was the second thing that we did back in the 60s and 70s, all over Southeast Asia. So in Southeast Asia, we made three big mistakes. The third thing that we did wrong was memorization. We made our kids memorize, rote memorization. Just remember it, do not need to know uh, why it came about. Just memorize it that six times two is 12. You just memorize it, as in you sit there and you do rote memorization. These were the three characteristic features of mathematics teaching and learning, if you can call it that, in Southeast Asia back then. And no wonder all over Southeast Asia, our kids were performing very poorly. And back in the 60s and 70s, already it's very clear that in Asia, the East Asian nation like Japan, Korea, and so on, they do well in everything, in particular in education. And in Southeast Asia, where the society is heterogeneous, like Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, Indonesia, we do not do well in anything, in particular education. So already in the 60s and 70s, when the data was available for Japan and Thailand, the separation was evident. And when more countries participated in such international comparative studies, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea is in one group, Singapore, the Philippines, Thailand in the low group. It's very evident. And it's not because our children are not brilliant. It is something systemic. It's the way we have been teaching mathematics, memorization, road procedure, and tedious calculation. And those made our students uh, become very, very poor in mathematics. And that's reflected in the international comparative studies. And because of what we did in the 80s, by the 90s, Singapore already bucked the trend. And now, instead of being lumped together with Malaysia, Thailand, uh, it went and joined the East Asian nation. And not only did we not do well, in places like Indonesia and the Philippines, the performance dropped even further. There are barely any countries in that third category, but two of our Southeast Asian nations managed to get there. So not only is it not helping our students, increasingly in a world where problem solving is becoming important, teaching mathematics in those three techniques, which continue to be practiced in a lot of places in Southeast Asia, has caused so much harm 
to the children that not only are they not doing well, they are performing at a level that previously thought to be impossible to ever reach, but they managed to get to the depth of that low levels.